her role as wife and mother, her most important and most rewarding role yet. Friends, please welcome Miss Isabel Oli Pratt. Hi, Isabel. How are you? Good afternoon. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you so much wow. for having me also. You look great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Please take a seat. Oh, there's Mag a seat pala. Mag yes, good afternoon, everyone. Okay lang. Mag you share a few of your ano, expert tips with your toddler. Oh, sure. Okay. Sabi ko nga, parang ako yata kailangan mag <laughs> Parang, I need parang to learn pa ang dami-dami. Kanina oh. nga we're talking, sabi ko, may ganito pala yung mga, ano, yung mga talk. Yung, oh, oh. Ang, ang saya. Diba? We can all learn from each other. Oh, we have our experts diba? and of course, as fellow moms or, or dads who are here also. Ang Totoo. ganda ng sharing. Oh, ano, my dads. Iba kasi yung online lang. Yung may mga gusto kong tanongin, pero parang, ah, paano kaya? Sige, send ko na lang yung message. Oo, di ba? As opposed to yung talagang nag-interact tayo. Yeah. Okay, well, Sorry simulan na natin ang ating sharing. Oh, yes. Feather is how old na? Um, she's three. Three? Ah, yeah, three. Oo, oh, inisip ko pa. <laughs> Ay, kaduwal kaya. Ito mom brain ng konti. <laughs> okay, so she's three and she's in school. Yeah, she's in, in school. school. Yes. Anong, ano, level na si... Yeah, She's um uh, senior nursery. Oh, si my, uh, my senior nurse. That is senior high lang. Ayan, senior nursery. Oh, may ganun na sila ngayon. Oh, ngayon oh. Sa, ko, sa amin nursery lang. Sa amin kinder lang nung diba? panahon ko. Oo. Oh, oh. Kinder one lang diretso. Oo. Oh, oh. Wala pang nursery. Ngayon may senior, may junior. So, oh, ano kayang next? Okay. Interesting no. Eh, ano naman? Kumusta yung schooling niya? Okay. Um, yung schooling talaga ni Feather at first was really a struggle. I even posted this on my social media accounts. Um, sobra siyang umiiya. Mm, okay. Oh, oh. I, I think kasi um, for three years, parang she was so used to like um, staying at home and play with her mga cousins niya sa kabil kabilang bahay. That's all. That's the routine. And now na parang, oh, sino to mga to? Parang, Bakit may parang mga teachers? Bakit ano to? May mga classmates na. Tapos may boys. Takot siya sa boys. Ah, okay. Sabi ni Jai. <laughs> sabi ng asawa ko, maintain mo yan, ha? Maintain. <laughs> so, takot siya sa mga boys oh, noong una. Oo. Oh, oh, new, so, new environment talaga. New environment. Oh. So, two weeks siyang grabe yung hawak siya sa gate talaga. Yung atulakan ka. <laughs> no matter. Magano. Eh, parang to a point na sa'yo, huwag na lang siya mag-aral. Homeschool ko na lang to. Kasi parang, baka it's not really for her. Ayun, I, I don't know. Bigla na lang one day, parang okay na siya. Naka-adjust. Naka-adjust siguro. Tsaka parang yung teary-eyed, na lang. Mga uh, ganon. Na Nag-subside na. Yes. Onti -onti. And uh, now, does she enjoy going she to school? She loves school. school. Oh, yeah. In kanina, nakabihis ako. Sabi yung, Mama, are we going to school? Huh? Wait. You have to change. You have to, ano, you have to help me. Kasi oh. marunong na siya mag-change mga isa. Galing. Hinahanap na niya ngayon. Yes. Oo. Oh, oh. So, she's three now. Kailan na siya pinasok sa school? Ano age? Um, Noong last July. Ah, okay. Yes. Recently. Yes, recently lang. Kayong mag-asawa, what made you decide maybe it's time na ipasok na siya sa school? Kasi we can see na parang mabilis siya yung, mabilis yung pick-up niya. Mm -mm -mm. And then, Parang sayang naman kung hindi namin parang ituloy. Oh, oh. Yung i-keep lang siya sa bahay. Tapos mm -hmm. parang mga hanggang ganyan-ganyan lang kami. Colors, mm -hmm. ng numbers, letters, mm -hmm. mga ganon. Mabilis eh. Sayang. Oh, oh. So, trinay lang namin. Mm -hmm. Para trinay mas namin, develop oh. Yeah. Una, trinay namin na may hinahari kami teachers uh, to, to go to our, to our house. And she said like, sayang naman she has to interact also, to socialize. Siyempre, takot ako. Baka mabuli ka, anak. Oh, oh. Siyempre, di ba? Baka mabuli ka, hindi ka marunong oh, oh. magkarate or whatever. <laughs> yung, nako, tas parang, siyempre, naisip ko din na paano kung, ah, kasi hindi pa siya trained talaga. She's, um, uh, pati trained na siya. And yung, siya, alam mo yun, to eat, hindi pa ganun ka, ano talaga, yung picky pa siya nung, time na, nung time na yun, yung may time siyang picky, may time talaga na, like ngayon, grabe, ang lakas niya kumain. Oo. Pero dependent pa rin siya sa milk. Dependent. In, yun milk ang hindi mo. Yes. siya. <laughs> Tanggalin mo yung solid food, milk, yun talaga po. <laughs> milk talaga siya. Uh -oh. Maraming mga kids who really 
love milk. Yes, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Okay. And it's okay naman din kasi sabi nga ng doctor eh, um, but well, especially when they get sick, di ba? Um, nalilesen talaga yung solid. So, dun na lang bawiin talaga sa milk. Yeah, yeah. Especially if the milk has the full spectrum, di ba? Yes, Complete. Yes. Oh. And ako, ako, nido talaga yung, ano, trusted ko talaga for Feather. It has the nutrients na bagay talaga din for her sa age niya. And she's Correct. a toddler. A preschool. Preschool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Diba? At least it's your partner uh, yes, uh, through yes. it all. Especially for that picky it's eater. My, yes, it's my partner talaga. Okay, so, si Feather went to school she started nung July. Yes. So, uh, August, September, October, October na. So, in that three months, may na-notice ka bang mga changes sa kanya? Actually, um, after mga ilang weeks lang talaga, ang dami-dami kong nakikitang, alam mo yung improvement? Um, she's like, more independent. And then she talks, um, alam mo yung, mas fluent na yung in, sa English, ganyan. May Tagalog na din siya. So, Aww. parang na. Nakatuwa. Oh, yes. Nakatuwa. And she's, ngayon talaga parang, oh mama, help me. Papa help lang siya sa parang pang medyas or you wear, you wear ng clothes. And dati, nag-bottle pa yan. Nag-feed siya sa bottle ngayon, nagka-glass na siya. Oh. Siguro nakikita niya na parang walang bottle dito, nakakahiya naman. So nag-bottle, nag-anon siya, hey, nag-glass. Impressive. Sabi ko sa'yo, sobra talaga. As in, um, she loves milk. And I think she got it from me. Really? Yeah. She got it from me. Ako ang gang na gumiya. No, I think she got it from me. Um, basa snacks niya every time uh -oh. when well, before she go to go to sleep uh -oh. or nap, mm -hmm. my milk. When she wakes up, my milk. Uh oh. Laging my milk. Talagang staple na sa. Sobra. Diet Partner na. talaga namin. Partner uh -oh. namin si Nido. Galeng. All throughout. Oh, may nakwento ba siya sa yun na? Oh, mama. I like this activity or even para enjoy na enjoy siya sa school. What does she like? She loves to draw. But I think drawing doesn't love her. Siyempre, <laughs> 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 sasabihin natin, oh, so nice. Oh, uh, what's this? Uh, 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 <laughs> what's this? support. What's this? Rainbow. Sa ko, para waterfalls. So, siyempre, bush ka pa rin. It's so uh, uh, nice. I think you have to draw mas, ano, mas curve, mas may uh, uh, curve, ganyan. So, pinupush talaga namin. Yes. She loves to sing. She loves to dance. She loves to write. Eto na yung bago niyang, kasi ever since mga as young as parang two months, yung baby namin, nireread na talaga namin ng books. Um, uh, mga children's Aga, Bible. Oh, yes. Oh. Kasi parang di ba nakaganon lang sila. So parang uh, ano kayong pag-usapan namin? Parang ang awkward, tahimik ka lang dyan. So ibasa-basa na lang tayo. Malay mo, she can hear, whatever. Yeah. So parang ngayon kasi, parang hinahanap nila. Parang mas napansin ko lang, si Feather sa age ngayon, hinahanap na niya talaga. Even kahit kumakain, naglilibro. Oo. Kasi routine yun na. Pero hindi siya marun magbasa. Nag-create na Parang sa, ayon sa picture, parang dun niya gina-create ng story. Ah, a creative. Sobra. Oh, Sobrang yeah. creative. Sobra. Nakakatuwa. And mas na-enhance na ngayon. Now she is in school. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Galing. Okay. So, May mga words din siya minsan. Sabi ko, Ah, hindi ko nga magamit yan in English. <laughs> <laughs> hindi ko magamit yan, ha? Paano kaya? It's nakakatuwa. Yeah. Abangan namin yung artwork ni Feather. Mali mo maging ano, famous <laughs> artist yan in the future. Babalikan <laughs> natin yung ano, <laughs> yung pinag-usapan natin yung hapon. <laughs> also, we talked about what she likes doing in school. Meron ka bang napansin or may nakwento siya na parang hindi na naman masyadong type hindi niya like gawin sa school? She doesn't like um... Parang yung, parang playing. I mean, yung parang running, yung physical masyado. Ah. Gusto niya blocks. Oh, Girl, mas cerebral. <laughs> <laughs> parang mga blocks, ganyan. Um, drawing, mga ganun talaga. Yung running, paminsan-minsan, nasa sa mood lang. Napansin din ng teacher yun eh, na pag PE, uh -oh. medyo na, ah, ano to, ano uh -oh. pa, parang ganun. Oh, girly girl siya. Medyo uh -oh. girl. Uh -oh. Okay. Medyo girl. Minsan daw sabi ng teacher, uh, may sumisigaw daw ng mga, yung mga boys, ah, di ba, rock maglaro, sabi niya, ew, ew, uh, don't touch me. Kaya pa kung sa boy, <laughs> bakit <laughs> ganito to? <laughs> Nakatoksa <Ganun> naman niya. <laughs> okay, too eh. Oo. Oh -oh. Okay, so, from school, mapunta naman tayo sa home life. Uh, kayo ba, ng husband mo, uh, na-mention mo yung books, are there other learning activities that we do together with Feather? Sila ni John, well, 
Kasi sila talaga yung mas close. <laughs> talaga? <laughs> At ina, ay, na-accept ko na din yung <laughs> daddy's, daddy's girl. girl. Oh. Sa akin naman yung isa ko, si Freedom. So, okay lang. <laughs> De, mas, mas ano sila, maybe because John is not there lagi. is busy working. So, pag nandyan, parang, parang mas gusto niya yung kasama. Kasi kami naman, everyday, nagikita kami. Minsan, when she sleeps, wala pa si John. When she wakes up, wala na si John din. So, parang mas gusto niya yung time doon, to spend time with him. Um, ang si John, kasi he loves to paint. Ayun pala. Ayun pala. Ah, okay. <laughs> yung siguro talaga yan. So, nagda-drawing sila, nagpa-paint sila. More ganun talaga. And sayaw. She okay. loves to dance. Grabe. Ewan ko lang kung magmamana siya kay John. natin. Abangan natin in a few years. Yun yung bonding nila. Oo. Even sa mag-cousins, they, they dance. Wow. The daughter of um, Camille, my sister-in-law, and my other sister-in-law, si Kay, Lahat talaga ng tumasayaw. Oo. Alam na natin pag Christmas party, pag <laughs> ano nang mangyayari sa inyo, di ba? <laughs> oh, ang kagulo, oh, kagulo. Oh, Every fun. night, after dinner, yun yun eh. So, umuupo yung lola-lolo. O, oh, nanya nakapila, ala, sasayaw-sayaw na sila. Masaya. Ikaw, sumasayaw ka rin? No. <laughs> <laughs> Taka, ano, clap and support. I'm supportive ako <laughs> support. doon. Oo, oh, okay. Ang oh, ngayon, three years old si Feather, obviously, like a lot of our kids, nakikita natin yung personalities nila talagang lumalabas, di ba? Uh, meron ka bang napansin sa personality ni Feather na parang ang fascinating ng batang ito? She's really caring oh. and very sweet. Um, as young as uh, parang mga three months, makikita mo na yung personality ng mga, ng baby, di ba? Ngayon nakita ko si Freedom. He's really, yung... Freedom is your second. The, the second, the, yeah. the second. He's um, 11 months na ngayon. Pero alam mo yung iba yung character, yung lalaking lalaki. Okay. <laughs> iba eh, iba. Etong si Ferry Rate, parang independent, independent sila both, but... Yung malambing, eto yung parang hindi, kaya niya maglaro, kaya niya nasa walker, or kaya niya sa playpen lang mag-isa. Si Feather, kailangan may kasama, or yung nandyan ka lang, nakaupo ka lang, tapos pa-play siya mag-isa. Si, I don't know, but um, malambing din naman si Freedom, pero eto si Feather, um, dami ko din kasing pamangkin, so dun ko na-compare. I have like 11 niece, ah, 8 nieces and 4 nephews. So, na, uh, yes, and parang most of them, ako yung nagpalaki din. Tumutulong ako. So, hinihiram ako ng mga, you know, practicesan. It's, it's very Filipino, <laughs> yung style na hiramin ka ng mga ate mo or mga kuya mo. Bantayan mo muna, ha. Tapos pag inibintayan, ay, nako, inibintayan, yung ganon. So, na, na-train talaga ako. Uh, mga 14 pa lang. Nag, wow. Yes, nag-aalaga na ako ng bata. So, nakita ko talaga, sa ko, grabe, iba-iba talaga mga ugali na mga to. Even sa kila Feather and Freedom. Sobrang yeah. iba. And she's... One of a kind. She's really sweet. Um, minsan, kaya ganina, minsan na lang siya kakain kami. Tapos sabi niya, Mama, do you know that I love you? Oh, Wait, ganun so, naman. Wait, ganun siya. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. Nakawala ng pagod. Yeah. Tapos sabi, so minsan, nice. para sa school, Mama, tapos happy siya pag ako susunod. Ah, Mama, I miss you so much. How about you? Do you miss me? Wow. <laughs> Oh, oh. Pero three years old pa. Ang ganda ng personality niya. <laughs> Just from your kwentos, parang she's so adorable. Oh, yes. But she has moods also. Uh, Meron they all. Mm, <laughs> Meron talaga. They all do. <laughs> so, you know what, oh, Isabel, we really super enjoyed listening to you. I certainly enjoyed talking to you. Any Thanks. words of encouragement to our parents here and also online before we let you go? Oh, yes. Um, mga mommies and dads, you know, um, Toddler, uh, parang raising up a toddler, so it's never easy. Sobra, it's, it's really a challenge. And ako, up to now, sobrang feeling ko talaga, ang dami ko pang dapat i-learn. Na I really thought na nung naging pregnant ako, sa ko, kaya ko to at alam ko to At ang dami ko na palaki din ng mga bata at nakikita ko din how our parents raised us. Pero iba pala pag sa'yo na. Kaya... Um, siguro just um, enjoy and you just don't push talaga na alam mo yung may pressure sila na si ano ganito na yung anak niya marunong na mag, magbihis marunong na kumain mag-isa marunong na grabe ang smart smart ganyan marunong na kumanta Sin, memorize niya isang buong kanta ay yung anak ko hindi pa parang you just don't compare I think pero alam mo yun you just enjoy kasi iba-iba talaga sila eh yun yun lang All lesson right. ka talaga yun yeah 
Each child is different. That's right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a round of applause for a special guest, oh, Isabel Oliver. Thank you Oliver. so much. Thank you. We're so first time for me to be intimate na yung talk. Thank you. Uh, Ay, teka. Wait, there's more. Bago kayo pa, 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 ano, pa, go na, eh, may question and answer tayo. We have yes. time for two questions. Kasi yes. mukhang they also enjoyed learning Sige. from you. Any questions? Mo ko, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo, Isabel, we have our experts here in our master class. And ang dami na kayo may experts dito na share. <laughs> Pero syempre, iba rin when we hear from fellow moms, yung mga, like you, you're a celebrity mom, we, we look up to you. Tapos, <laughs> ano yung experiences nyo? Parang, ay, same lang. Pala ba? lang pala. Diba? It's also comforting for us. Yeah. Kasi we're in this journey talaga. Na, and we need the support also yeah, the, uh, of so the community. Okay. So, to our moms, to our dads, may mga tanong ba? Kahit dun online, you can send it. You can just put it on your comment section. Any questions for Isabel? Oh, may online pala. Hello sa mm -hmm. mga naga-online. Hi! Mga curious kayo tungkol sa ano, sa life nila at home. <laughs> Parang pagpapalaki. Anyone? Yan, yes. Please introduce yourself and how many kids do you have? I know her. Uh, Hi. Oh, we met before. Oh, we met before. She worked. Uh, we worked before. Kami dalawa. Oh, yes. Okay. So Ayusin mo yung tanong mo yung madali lang kabutin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I'm Mommy Nestle po. Um, with one year old. I three year old. Three years old pala siya. One kid. Okay. okay. Mommy. Yes. Same tayo. Hello. Ganina nang ganon yung. Ah, uh, di ba paminsan nang yaya? I think it's epidural. <laughs> Yan. We, we know naman po how close-knit and kung gano'ng kalaki yung Trats family. Diba? Diba? <laughs> ano po yung advantage na tingin nyo sa kila Feather tsaka kay Freedom ng malaking family na yun? Siguro kasi um, pag, maraming, pag malaki kasi yung family, um, isa din nung una, parang hindi namin na pressure na to go to junior nursery. Kasi may mga ka-interact na siya eh. May kalaro siya lagi eh. Oo. So, isa din, iba din yung marami kayo. Yung, siyempre, paglaki, alam mo yung marami kang mga friends. Um, eto, pamilya mo talaga. Sure ka talaga na they're always, they, they will always be there for you. Iba din yung, siyempre, paglaki nila, eh, ito pala yung family dapat. Parang eto pala yung siguro yung dapat talagang um, i-follow. Or, alam mo yun, iba yung support system. Yun. Na, yun yung gusto kong sabihin. Oh. Support system. Yeah. Ang daming kalaro din ni Feather and Freedom. Sobra. Eight kasi lang ngayon. <laughs> diba? Kagulo. <laughs> Kagulo talaga yun sa bahay. Sabi ko dati, parang isa lang yung bata, si Nathan lang yun. Oh. Kami, bigla na lang nagsulputan. Oh. Masaya. Masaya. In one year, tatlo eh. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Any other questions? We have time for one more. If, yes, ma'am. Hi, Miss Isabella. Hello. Hello. Good um, afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Rose Bian, uh, mother of one five-year-old girl. One-year-old uh, girl. No, five years old. Ah, five years old. Yeah. Um, uh, question ka for you. Uh, pag kasi feather ng kakatanshums, paano mo siya hinahand? Lalo na in public places. Sa public places. Yes. Um, parang bihira pa din talaga ng yare sa amin yung nagu wild talaga siya sa public. Maybe because this uh, bahay pa lang, pag nagaganyan siya, hindi namin tinotolerate. Um, minsan, parang kung busy ka, parang hayaan mo lang siya. Sasabihan ko lang siya, no, you cannot have this. Or no, you cannot watch iPad. <laughs> may, time lang, may screen time siya eh. 30 minutes a day. Um, Tapos hanggang na bawas-bawasan namin. Pero nung time na binab nang babawas ng pabawas, it's very hard for her to adjust. Siyempre, sanay sila na everyone's having have their own tablet, di ba? So, nanonood sila, TV. So, nung pagbawas namin, sobrang siyang nahirapan. And I can, I really, I totally understand it. Kaya sobrang minsan, iyak talaga siya. No, I want. May ganun siya. Bahala ka. No, I cannot give you that. Parang, I'm sorry, but it's for you. Ganyan, you have to play with your toys or yung mga, you have to draw or you play with your cousins. Ganyan. Iyak-iyak siya. Minsan hayaan lang talaga namin. Minsan kakausapin na, ang tagal, kakausapin namin, paulit-ulit. Paulit-ulit lang talaga. But, you know, ma you'll be surprised one day, they'll get it. And siguro they'll get tired of it also. Na parang, wala, hindi talaga. You're not giving it talaga. Parang, uh, you're not giving in. 
Yes, firm. Firm and ka. Consistent. Yes, and consistent. Oh, oh. Pero mahirap, mahirap. Lalo na when you see them crying and parang okay lang naman kasi oh, oh. mas makatrabaho nga ako. Kasi, <laughs> di ba, yung struggle Ibigay natin lang. yan talaga. I mean, di, magpakatotoo diba? tayo, di ba? Sinabi nga ni Doc kanina, ni Doc Francis, as much as possible, yung screen time, uh, at least pag two years Pwede old. Pwede pa yun? yun. <laughs> Oh my oh, God, sorry, dog. <laughs> sorry, dog. <laughs> it's really a struggle. Struggle diba? talaga. Oh. Ang hirap, ang hirap. Ngayon, yun, natanggal naman namin. Oh, Paunti-unti lang talaga. Kasi it also has something to do with us. Yes. Diba? Yung enforcement. Yes. Mm. O oh, yan. O oh, diba? She's just like us. <laughs> Well, dami kong diba? mali. Sama. Diba? Dami, dami kong mali. Oo. Well, it's a learning process. Yes. And we get better and better through time. Especially now, you have freedom yeah. also. He has that yes. benefit. Na kung ano yung mga na-learn natin sa ating first child. Mm-hmm. The second and maybe the next ones also mm-hmm. benefit. Yung pang third. May, meron iba-iba talaga. Uh-oh. Ang dami pa talaga. Never, never ending talaga yung learning. Yeah. We never stop being parents. Yes. Okay, and with that, let's give Isabel one more time a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, Isabel. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, mommies and daddies. Thank you. And please join us. Let's just take a photo. Thank you. solo photo for Isabel. <laughs> and again, to our moms and dads, please use our official hashtag Toddler Expert Tips. You can upload your learnings from Isabel as well today. Thank you very much, Isabel. I know you have to go, but we enjoyed your sharing with us. Thank you. We'll see you again next time. Okay, moms and dads, we will be pausing again for a very, very short break. Again, we invite you to join our raffle. So just share your postings right there kasi in a short while, magbubunutan na ng ating winner. Again, the hashtag is Toddler Expert Tips. Enjoy, everyone. And to our online...
the toddler expert tips presented by Nido 3 Plus. We're going to move on with the rest of our master class. And the next speaker is a psychologist, lecturer, and resource speaker. She was a guidance counselor in one of the top universities in the Philippines. She was also a career counselor of a corporate company where she provided counseling to employees with various concerns that affect productivity and well-being. Please give a round of applause to Ms. Irish Movido. Hi everyone, good afternoon. I'd like to start my session with a story. So this is called the Marshmallow Experiment. So noong 1960s, may isang psychologist, ang pangalan niya is Walter Michel, and he conducted an experiment to four-year-old kids. So ang ginawa niya, nasa isang room, yung isang bata, tapos sina binigyan ng isang marshmallow. Tapos sinabi dun sa bata na, um, I'll just go out of the room, and when I get back, and you still have the marshmallow, I'll give you another one. So syempre, yung kids, di ba, what's better than one marshmallow? They like two marshmallows. So this is what happened during the experiment. I'll show you a video. Signature. All right, here's the deal. Marshmallow, for you. You can either wait, and I'll give you another one if you wait, or you can eat it now. When I come back, I'll give you two, another one, so then you'll have two. But stay in here and stay in the chair till I come back, okay? okay. All right. I'm gonna go do something and then I'll come back. It's yummy, yummy. Oh, it smells really It's up to you. You can have it now or you can wait. Okay? I'll be back. Stay in the chair, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna leave and then I'll come back, okay? So you can either eat it right now or you can wait. Either way, okay? Okay. How'd you do? Did you do good? You did? You wanted to eat it, didn't you? Yeah. So I'll tell you to give you another one? Okay, now you can have both. You need them.
Okay, so from what you can see from the experiment, may mga kids na they were able to control themselves no, from um, eating the marshmallow. So from this experiment, nakita yung concept ng delayed gratification. So ano yung delayed gratification? It's when we delay the things that we want for a bigger goal. For example, um, in that experiment, the bigger goal was to have two marshmallows. So, pinigilan nila yung sarili nila to eat the marshmallow so that they can have two marshmallows. We can also see this in students. For example, yung mga students, they have an exam, tapos they want to get high grade. So, what they do, instead of hanging out with their friends, maybe, or going to the mall, what they would do is they would stay home and study. So, yun yung concept ng delayed gratification. And this concept is part Part also of emotional intelligence. Based on this um, experiment, ito yung results. Kasi after, when the kids na were adolescents, they were followed up. And then, then they were adults na, they were followed up also. So ito yung nangyari dun sa kids. So they have higher scholastic performance. And they cope better with stress and frustration. They have higher self-esteem. They are less likely to abuse drugs. They have better relationships. They are financially successful. And they have better health. As compared dun sa kids na kinain yung marshmallow. So yung mga kids na kumain ng marshmallow, when they were adolescents, hindi sila ganun ka-well adjusted. Parang they have difficulty in deciding, for example, and they are prone to envy and jealousy. May mga temper tantrums sila. They're not very um, able to control their anger. So that's what happened. So this is the marshmallow experiment, which is a component of emotional intelligence. So ang pag-usapan natin ngayon is emotional intelligence. So ano ba to? What is emotional intelligence? By definition, it is the capacity to recognize our own feeling and those of other people. And it is the capacity also to manage emotions well in ourselves and in our relationships. For example, when you are sad, what do you do? When a loved one is angry at you, how do you deal with that? When you are stressed, how do you cope? So that's the managing part. And of course, to be able to motivate yourself. So kanina, doon sa video, yung marshmallow experiment, it takes an amount of self-control also, di ba? To achieve the goal. How you are able to motivate yourself is also a part of emotional intelligence. And why is this important? So why is emotional intelligence more important than IQ? According to research, our success in life, mas malaki ang part na piniplay ng EQ. So, 80% of our success in life is mostly based on EQ and 20% lang yung IQ. So, even if mataas yung grades in school, it doesn't guarantee, hindi siya predictor that you will have success in life. So, mas predictor pa din yung EQ. For example, the valedictorians or the salutatorians, it's not um, because na parang they have high grades in school, automatic na yun na they will succeed in life. So it's, it's not the case daw, according to research. And so here, this is an example. So study shows that valedictorians aren't the most likely to achieve. In fact, a high GPA might be a bad thing. And in the U.S., Ang average na grade ng, I'm sorry. So anyway, there's a study in the U.S. na ang sinasabi doon is that ang average na grade ng mga millionaires is 2.9. So sa U.S., kapag 2.9 ang grade mo, it means na below average ka, parang you won't be able to get into good schools. Kung baga sa Pilipinas, kung 2.9 ang grade mo, hindi ka makakapasok ng UP or ng Ateneo or any of the top schools. But then, may study na ginawa na most millionaires, ang average grade nila is 2.9. And why is that? So, bakit yung valedictorians, why don't 
they rarely succeed in life. So, ang valedictorians daw kasi, or any honor student, they are good at following rules. So, when they follow rules, kasi diba sa school, there are a lot of rules. So, when a teacher says na you study chapter 1 to 5, we'll have an exam next week. So, they're good at that. But in general kasi, life is messy, diba? Wala namang rules ang life eh. So, it's those students who are, yung hindi honor students, ang magaling, those who are creative, those who are innovative, those who know how to uh, think outside the box. Okay, so anyway, so these are the five domains of emotional intelligence. So number one is understanding oneself. And this is also being aware of one's emotions. And number two, managing emotions, most especially the difficult emotions. And then third is motivating oneself and understanding also the emotions of other people and managing relationships. So we'll discuss this one by one. But before I go with this, can I ask Muna everyone to close your eyes? Okay, can you close your eyes and identify how you're feeling right now? Are you happy maybe? Or perhaps you're sad? Or maybe you're bored? So how are you feeling right now? Okay, you may open your eyes. So, sino'y naka-identify ng feeling? Sinong happy? Ayun. Mahirap ba mag-identify ng feeling? Is it difficult to identify a feeling? Nahirapan kayo? Hindi naman. Okay, actually, ang skill of identifying a feeling is a basic skill of emotional intelligence. So, it's knowing when we are sad, knowing when we are angry, and knowing when we are stressed. So, bakit siya important na alam natin that we are able to label our feelings? Important siya when it comes especially to making decisions. Uh, let's say, for example, there's a scenario na naglalakad kayo na madilim na kalsada. So, naglalakad kayo, and then you notice na there's someone following you. So, magkakaroon kayo ng emotion na fear, di ba? So, pag nagkaroon kayo ng emotion na fear, usually what would happen is pwedeng maglalakad kayo na mabilis o kaya um, pag may nakita kayong tao, lalapitan nyo yung person na yun to ask for help. And that's because you had the emotion na fear. So, paano kung wala yung emotion na fear na yun? So, what will you do? most likely, baka may nangyaring masama sa'yo. Kasi kung walang emotion na fear, wala kang gagawin about the situation. So, pwedeng may masamang mangyari. So, every day in our lives, we make decisions, right? So, when we make decisions, we use our head and we use our heart. Pero pag ito kasi magulo, di ba, pag hindi tayo sure dito, so, it's difficult for us to make decisions. I'll give you an example. So, I do counseling and therapy mostly to adolescents and adults. And I have this client na she's a law student. Tapos, she's very overwhelmed about everything kasi she's taking up law, tapos nag-work pa siya. Tapos, she has a nine-month-old kid and she's newly married. So, lahat ng yun, di ba? Parang... There's just too much on her plate. So, na-overwhelm siya. Tapos, during our session, lumabas doon na kaya lang pala siya nag-take ng law kasi yung parents ng, ng husband niya, sinabi sa kanya na she's a gold digger daw. Pero, so, she wants to prove to the family of her husband na hindi, ganun, na hindi siya ganun. So, that decision to take up law school did not come from knowing oneself, di ba? It came from something else. So, it's important that we know, kung, that we understand ourselves. Kasi, we will be better pilot of our lives. And yung decisions natin will come from an empowered state. 
So, the second domain of emotional intelligence, yung first one kasi is the understanding oneself or self-awareness, and the second one is managing emotions. So, what happens to people who are not able to manage their emotions? Like, I'll give you an example. I have a client who self-harm, so may mga nagka-cut, nagsa-slash, and other clients naman, inuumpog nila yung ulo nila sa pader. And when I ask them why they do that, ang sinasabi nila is because sobrang overwhelming yung emotions nila. And when they cut, nare-relieve yung pain. So, gumagaang yung pakiramdam nila when they cut themselves. So, meaning, they're not able to manage their emotions. So, when we're not able to manage our emotions, usually, nagkakaroon ng um, destructive way of coping. Like yan, self-harm, o kaya other people, they, they do drugs, or they drink too much. They go on social media a lot, so just to numb the feeling. So you can teach your kids how to manage emotions. One way you can do that is to have a toolbox. So dun sa toolbox, parang ano siya, mga things that you can do whenever your child is going through a challenging emotion. For example, if they're sad or, or, or if they're angry, maybe nandun sa toolbox yung... They can, for example, if they're sad, they can watch their favorite cartoon movie. O kaya they can eat their favorite food. So ang important dun sa toolbox na yun, you and your child will agree na ano yung nandun. So it's something also na um, may decision din siya, may participation din siya. So you can pick an activity pag may challenging emotion. So another way also that you can help your child to manage emotions is the stoplight method. So yung stoplight method, di ba may red, may yellow sa stoplight, and merong green. So the first step is you think of the color red. So pag red, di ba, it's stop. So, the first step is, for example, your child is angry, having a tantrum, tapos you can tell him to stop, to just calm down. So, that's the red part. Tapos yung yellow part is to think of a solution to the problem or a positive goal. Okay, you're going through this. What do you want to do about it? So, that's the second step. And then, think of, possible, uh, think of a positive goal and then think of possible solutions to that problem or alternative um, activities or actions. So, hindi lang one solution to a problem. This will also teach your child to parang do problem solving. So, meron, may isip nila na pag may problem pala, there are a lot of solutions to a problem. Hindi lang iisa. Kasi when they grow up and they encounter something na challenging, ang usually if one solution doesn't work, they get depressed na kaagad, di ba? They can't cope with it. So that's why mataas na ang incidence ng depression, ng self-harm, ng suicide. So because yun, they don't know how to manage emotions. So, pag na-train yung child na, oh, there are a lot of things naman pala that I can do. So, it gives them more power about their emotions. And then, the solutions, think of possible solutions, and then consequences. So, think ahead of the consequences. Now, okay, if I do this, what will happen kaya? If I do this thing, so what will happen kaya? So, that's the yellow light. Pag dun na sa red light, ay green light na, so that's when your child will pick the best possible solution. So, that's one way that you can manage, uh, help your child manage emotions. So, third component. So, we're in the third domain. So, there are five. This is the third domain. And the third one is motivating oneself. 
So, nakita nyo sa video, di ba? The kids who did not eat the marshmallow, they were able to motivate themselves. So, they know how to delay gratification. So, what are the efforts and the sacrifices that a child can do in order to achieve the goal? So, motivation talks about the efforts. The e more on the efforts and not the results. I have a favorite psychologist. Uh, her name is Angela Duckworth. Ayong mag ayan. Si Angela Duckworth, ang tatay niya is a scientist. That's why she was growing up, laging sinasabi ng tatay niya sa kanya, pati ng mga kapatid niya, na none of you are genius. Gumaganan yung tatay niya. So, lumalaki siya na ganun yung naririnig niya from his dad. Tapos, napapaisip siya na, so what if I'm not a genius? Is that important kaya to success? So, ang ginawa niya, nag-study siya about the psychology of success. And this is the theory that she was able to develop, yung the concept of grit. So, giving more importance to perseverance, giving more importance to hard work, and more than the IQ or more than being a genius. So that's for the and motivating oneself. And next naman, next domain is understanding others. Ayan. So understanding others or understanding the emotions in other people. Meron ba kayong kilala na parang walang pakiramdam or hindi marunong makiramdam. So, di ba, that person has no empathy. Ang empathy, makikita to sa mga child who are below two and a half years old. Kapag merong umiyak na infant, di ba, iiyak din sila. Kasi ang feeling nila, yung pain nung, nung bata na yon sa kanila din yung pain. Pero ba, yung mga two and a half years old and above, naiintindihan na nila na the pain of another person is not my own. So, empathy is a skill that is useful to develop also in kids. So, I'll show you a video that would illustrate the importance of empathy. First piece of it. Yes! Okay, so as you can see in the video, yung classmates nung kid, they did not even ask for help. He did not ask for help, di ba? Pero na-sense nung mga classmates niya na kailangan niya ng help. So that's empathy. Paying attention also to the non-verbal, to so the expression of the face, and not just yung parang sinabi, in-express na I need help. Pero knowing um, how to relate with other people through empathy. And the last domain na of emotional intelligence is handling relationships. So why is this an important skill to know? Uh, according to research, kung may difference daw ang happy people from unhappy people, isa lang ang difference nila. They have strong social support. They know how to build relationships. So this skill is very important. Hindi ko napakita kanina yata yung isang slide about the yung millionaire mind na book. So, it's a survey of I think 700 millionaires in the US. Tapos, ang lumabas din sa survey is that there are top five factors that are common to those millionaires. So, wala doon yung IQ. Wala na. Hindi <laughs> na 
of us. So anyway, the top five factors, number one, um, being honest with all people. So being disciplined, having a supportive spouse, um, ano pa ba? There are two more. So, pero dun sa top five factors na yon, makikita yung importance also of social intelligence or the ability to build relationships. So, hindi dun lumabas yung sa IQ. Okay, so I guess my time is up. So, ayun. <laughs> Ayan. So, working harder than most people, having a supportive spouse, getting along with people, being well-disciplined, and being honest with all people. So, that ends my session. Do we have time for questions? Yes! Thank you very much, Miss Irish Movido. Dami ding mga tidbits, golden nuggets of learning. Miss Irish, please join us here and uh, let's have our Q&A. Do we have any takers from our live audience? May mga questions ba tayo? Yes, ma'am. Um, basically, kasi sa school, they always teach about IQ. They've been pushing about grades. So, yung question ko, since super important yung EQ, um, how do we make sure na natitrain din namin and nababalance namin both EQ and IQ for our kids? Usually, kasi we reward yung mga kids who get high grades, di ba? Kahit sa school. So, they're honor students and all. So, you can also reward accomplishments of your kids na hindi related sa academics. For example, if na-notice nyo na she shares his toys to his classmates or to his sibling, you can commend that effort. So, hindi lang po yung achievements sa school. So, being also kind, compassionate to other people, having empathy, and oh, that's really nice. Parang, di ba, we always reward good grades, but we forget about rewarding uh, good behavior. Kasi we expect our kids na dapat behave talaga sila. Di ba? Or like for me, what I do is I tell my child, you know, I like that you shared your toys. Di ba? Yeah, parang you, you compliment yes. them and specifically. So, very good tip. Okay. Any more questions? Yes, mommy. Yes, hello. Um, my question is, how do we develop grit in our kids? Grit, okay. Grit in our kids. Okay. Sige, I'll answer that question with a story. There is a football player in the U.S. I forgot na his name. Pero star player siya nung high school. Tapos when he went to college, sumali din siya sa football team. Tapos nung nandun na siya, hindi siya yung star player. So parang, kumbaga, bangko siya. So, he was discouraged. Tumatawag siya sa dad niya na, I want to quit na the football team. So, the coach doesn't even know my name. So, I want to leave na the team. Ganyan. Pero yung dad niya, hindi siya pinayagan na mag-quit. So, after nun, yung, yung, yung football player na yon, what he did, so, after practice, he would practice more. Tapos, he would spend more time pa to practice since he can't quit. So, nag-work hard din siya. Until nung second year na siya, nandun na siya sa, kasi pang eight siya sa line na magpe-play. Nandun na siya sa pangalawa. Tapos, nag-finish siya ng college with an award as the best quarterback player. So, in that sense, important yung role nung dad, di ba? Na hindi siya pinayagan mag-quit. So, what you can do to your kids is to do the authoritarian parenting, may tatlong aspects yun eh. Yung being warm to your child, so knowing, understanding how they are feeling, asking how they're feeling for that day, and getting to know them. Pangalawa is yung being respectful, allowing them to make their own decisions. And third is being demanding. Yung dad naging demanding siya, di ba, na parang don't quit. Kasi kilala niya yung anak niya. Alam niya na kaya ng anak niya. At mas makikilala rin nyo lang yung anak niyo if you are warm to them, if you spend time with them. Kasi alam niyo naman yun eh, kung ano yung kakayanan nila, kung okay lang ba that they quit or okay lang ba that they continue. So yung balance eh, nung tatlo, yung being warm, um, respectful, giving them the autonomy to make decisions, and being demanding also. Okay, wow. Very interesting balance. Kailangan lang matutunan din, you know, yes. how to 
go through the struggle, in short. Final question, this is for me. Um, you mentioned managing emotions, uh, parang teaching our children to manage their emotions better. Pero may mga times na our children, di ba, they cry or they have emotions. And then tayo as parents, yung sabi man, why are you crying? You don't have to cry over that. Mm. Is that something, how can you respond to, let's say, sometimes, di ba, they would react to something and medyo OA. Pero at the same time, you're thinking, oh shocks, baka naman as a child, parang that's their emotion. So how do we help manage through that emotion? Um, Unang-una, hindi sila, sila kailangan pigilan dun sa emotion nila. They should be allowed to express that emotion. Kasi yun yun eh, parang pag hindi na-express yung emotion, lumalabas siya in destructive ways. Pag hindi nila na ma-manage yung emotion na yun. So get to know na how are you feeling? Why are you feeling that way? What happened? So, allow them to express then yung kung ano yung nafe-feel nila. Okay. And then maybe process it no? yes. together. Okay. Thank you very much, okay. Miss Irish. Palapakan po natin si Miss Irish Movido for sharing as well your expertise. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. To our moms and dads, in a short while, magra-raffle na tayo. So, did everyone participate and uh, put the raffle stubs at ating